Hello, and welcome to the Battleship Brawl Companion. I'm Elo Frazergan, and in this episode I'll be reviewing the Pravda by Magma, 8520. Uh, the entry consists of two of these, but they're identical, so I'll be just showing the one. Uh, Pravda is the Russian word for truth, um, also the name of a somewhat infamous uh, Russian broadsheet newspaper. Magma was the uh, designer of the Zvezda fleet in uh, season one of this tournament, one of the most iconic entries with its three ships and uh, fast firing, high explosive load, uh, questionable naval AI decisions, and uh, complete with lots of friendly fire and collisions. This tournament has been no exception, but uh, Magma's entry is not out of the game yet, and it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Magma has written that uh, this Pravda has uh, two and a half times the firepower of each of the old Zvezdas. With two of them, that's like uh, five Zvezdas of firepower, um, or over 60% more. Considering that the original Zvezdas were already quite high explosive, firepower focused, that is a lot of high explosive damage going out. Let's see. We've got a uh, twin hull design, uh, kind of like a catamaran, although the uh, unfortunately the uh, central bridge area, kind of a uh, bridge in the regular sense as well as the naval sense, is not out of the water. Um, which does introduce slightly more drag, but uh, on the other hand, this is a very, uh, very flat ship. You see its uh, height is only 11 meters. I don't think it includes the turrets, but um, even with the turrets, it's a very uh, flat ship. Uh, probably good for close range, since with flat trajectories at close range, it is more likely that a shell will miss the ship entirely by flying over or under it. Um, of course, at longer range, the plunging fire will find a fairly large target. The catamaran design does provide for very good stability, uh, though uh, with such, with relatively small guns, it's not as a critical factor for a ship like this. But uh, I have successfully used uh, catamaran designs in the past to compensate for the recoil of um, extremely high recoil guns, such as rapid fire uh, APS Sabo cannons. Uh, we've got the engine split up here, making a speed uh, between uh, 15, but closer to 16 meters per second. The the ship is turning to port somewhat, even without any controls being applied. Um, if we look in build mode here, we see that the, uh, the center of drag is uh, slightly on the port side. I cannot figure out why this is. Um, I mean, I've, I've looked at the front blocks and they do seem to be symmetrical. So. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's some block that's causing more drag that I'm not seeing, or there's some something buggy in the game. I, I really don't. But uh, 15, 16 meters per second is about average for this tournament. Um, and not bad since uh, considering that the ship is using well under 1,000 power. I think only 800 it looks like. Yeah. Protection, uh, this ship doesn't have too much of it. Uh, it's got a heavy alloy and a wood composition. The sides do have a metal armor belt, but most of it is, is made out of these uh, relatively light materials. Uh, so uh, it will be quite easy to uh, take apart with high explosive 
But at least it's not relying on air pumps for buoyancy, so uh, it's not going to be sinking per se. The turrets themselves are making up a pretty large proportion of the top area, so a lot of the shells that land on the ship are going to be taking out turrets. Fortunately for the Pravda, it does have fully 12 of them, so it can afford to lose a few. Uh, let's see. The turrets themselves uh, are... They don't have much overhang, um, unlike more conventional designs. Uh, so... But... Uh, even so, if a shell hits the deck, um, it isn't going to be able to draw a line of sight to the turret block, so um, I don't think it will suffer more than usual from deck hits. Uh, unlike perhaps if it was uh, mounted actually flush with the deck. So, uh, all in all, a bit of a glass cannon, uh, but let's turn to the cans themselves. Uh, we've got 24 of them, which is a pretty huge number, uh, especially considering the uh, entry consists of two of these. I mean, even even many of the the most uh, the most heavily armed single entries don't have this many guns. Uh, the guns themselves, I think they're all identical. 262. Yep, they all look the same. Uh, although, uh, one side has 17.5 explosive and the other has 30 explosive. A uh, pretty decent load for a cannon of this size. Um, though the Ammunition is a bit on the low side, with only four boxes per gun. Um, so the uh, the rate of fire is only uh, sort of middling at 8.28 seconds reload per gun. But still, with uh, 24 of these, you are going to see quite a rain of high explosive shells. Uh, any opposing ship had uh, better take out the the guns on the proud before uh, it succumbs to this massive rain. Overall a uh, a very interesting looking design with a uh, very scary amount of sheer shells being thrown out at the enemy. Uh, best of luck magma and I'll see y'all next time.